PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb. I'm here today in my academy and one of the things that I really pride myself on as a golf instructor is having the latest in information and the best in technology. And so today I'm doing a little field test, a little test on a new unit that I got my hands on called the Swing Caddy 2 because I got a lot of students I work with who are serious about playing the game of golf, probably much like yourself, and they want to get better and they love to practice and they want some information. Obviously, I'm using a launch monitor that is the industry standard, a unit that costs fifteen, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars because I got to have good information when I'm working with my students. And so this unit here is a couple hundred dollars. And so it kind of piqued my interest, but I first of all wanted to check it out and see does it actually work and does it provide good information. So I've got it set up here and what I'm going to do is go ahead and do a little test and see how accurate it is. So I've got a 7 iron, I've got the Swing Caddy 2 set up right behind me based on the instructions, simple and easy to use. Let me go ahead and hit one seven iron here and see what type of information and data we get between the two units. Alright, so that's 150 yard seven iron. It's telling me, as you can hear, it's got the voice there, so it tells me actually how far that ball went. I've got it set, of course, on the seven iron shot as I do my unit here. So let's go ahead and do a little comparison. So the first thing we're looking at is club head speed. That's something that you want to know. My Swing Caddy 2 on that shot tells me 80 miles an hour. Not real fast for me, but it, you know, it's early in the morning, right? My club head speed on the unit I've got here is about 81. So literally one mile an hour uh, together. We've got a ball speed of 108 on the Swing Caddy. I've got a, literally a ball speed of 108.3 on mine, so almost identical numbers there in terms of the distance the ball went, the ball speed, and the club head speed. So very interesting. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and of course test the driver out. That's where really ball speed, club head speed, smash factor, the all important smash factor can really come in handy. So I got my driver, I've switched my unit here over to the driver mode. One of the things I like about the Swing Caddy is it comes with remote control. I can literally switch between clubs with just a flip of the button. So I'm going to go ahead here and put it on driver mode and I'm going to hit a shot. Let's see what type of speed we got here. Like I said, it's a little earlier in the morning so I'm not sure how quick this is going to be but I'll do my best. I actually felt pretty good. Well, pretty center of the face, so we'll be curious to see what type of numbers we get between my unit that I use every day and the Swing Caddy 2. Alright, so what we've got here, got a club head speed of, uh, looks like 105. Not bad for me, like I said it's early in the morning, I can usually get it cooking a little quicker, but 105. Over here, club head speed 105.6, literally almost identical. What do we got here? We got a ball speed over here of 150.5. Swing Caddy 2 is telling me 149. Literally within one mile an hour of each other. Basically identical. Uh, smash factor 1.42 on Swing Caddy, 1.43 on my unit over here. So almost identical numbers. So this is just a, a quick field test that I wanted to do. Because, like I said earlier, I pride myself in having good information. I pride myself with giving my students the best quality instruction you can and in order to do that I got to have great equipment and we got to have the latest in technology. This is a Swing Caddy 2 unit. I tell you what, if you're a golfer and you like to play golf and you want to get better and you don't want to mortgage the house to get a unit like I've got that I use every day, the Swing Caddy 2 is a great option. This little test I did confirms what I was hoping I would see and that is that the information, the data is accurate. So if you want to get something that's easy to use and to travel with, and can give you some good quality information. The Swing Caddy 2 is something that I would hope you probably consider purchasing. To do some push-ups. <laughs> so, so do you want me to go through those numbers again? And also then I went ahead, sorry, rambling. I don't know why it's not driver. Because there we go. Let's take an example. 